I want to give you a tour of Munich through the eyes of a student and tell you all about how living here actually is. The people, the student life and the vibe of the city in general. And at the end I'm going to talk about whether I would recommend you to move to Munich or not and some minor things you gotta keep in mind. But instead of me just talking about it, let me show you. When you walk through a city, you quickly notice that it has an amazing vibe to it. Like many European countries, the older part of the city is really beautiful with its classic buildings. The entire city center is basically full of remains of old European architecture. On the other hand, there is also a really modern part of the city with newer buildings and a lot of big companies, especially big tech companies like Google, Microsoft and Apple. It's overall a safe city and also pretty damn clean. Crime is absolutely not an issue here. The two best universities in Germany, the Technical University of Munich at the Turm and the Ludwig Maximilian University, the LMU, are both located here. So for all the study hustlers out there, the quality of universities is pretty damn good in Munich. I mean, come on. Looking at this building, you kinda know where the tax money went. You sometimes stumble upon one of these little hidden spots. This seat here in the LMU is ideal to chill, enjoy the ambience and get some deep work done. Munich's universities have a lot of prestige and with all the research facilities and big companies around, there are plenty of career opportunities in every field, especially tech. No one other city is also called the tech center of Europe. There are a lot of international students around here, so even if your German is not that good, it's no big deal. People from all around the world come here and they all bring a part of their unique culture into the city. And for all the real study hustlers out there, the city offers quite a number of libraries and study spaces. If you're looking for a different place to study or chill, there are a lot of cafes and coffee shops spread across the city. I mean, as a student, you want to relax sometimes and Munich definitely has, on one hand, a hustle culture, you know, everyone is studying and working hard, but on the other, a lot of parks and spots to hang out, chill and have a couple of beer. Just to name a few cool locations, the Isa Riverside, the English Garden, the Olympia Park and the Castle Nymphenburg. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos about Germany, Munich and student life in general. So if there resonates with you, consider subscribing. I mean, the location of the city is just damn perfect. Basically, it's the heart of Europe, innovative, close to the Alps with beautiful nature around. And I guess the best beer in the world is also attractive for many people. You probably have heard of the Oktoberfest, you know, the biggest beer festival in the world, which takes place in Munich every year. It's an opportunity to experience the wild culture of Bavarian partying. People in Munich are in general quite wealthy, and where wealthy people are, there is also a lot of fancy stuff. In the city center, you have a street named Maximilianstraße, where all the expensive brands and fashion boutiques are located. And if you like cars, most of the time, they're quite the fancy ones. For all the car enthusiasts out there, Munich is home to BMW's headquarter and factory and they have a beautiful BMW museum, which is actually free to visit. Let me show you some dope cars. I feel like Kobe, the way I don't miss. All of these bodies is making me sick. 2400, that's all in the drip. A lot of you niggas can't get into this. I run out my bag and I saw some- Germany's car culture is quite insane with all its well-known brands and definitely something you can fall in love with. And by the way, while we are talking about museums, Art galleries and museums are actually a big thing here in Munich. All the new Pinakothek and the Munich residents, they feature famous artworks and also a lot of special exhibitions. And I would say they all make a good contribution to the overall vibe of the city. All the spots mentioned are very accessible. You know, everything is connected very well with trains, buses and so on. And riding bikes is also a thing in Munich, which makes it really easy to explore the city. And a car is definitely not necessary and is considered more of a luxury here. And no wonder that people in Munich are really proud of the city. 
and when they talk about them living here, I feel like sometimes there's a bit of arrogance swinging in their words. Especially if you don't know the German culture that well, the people might come off as rude and annoyingly straightforward sometimes. If they don't like something, they tell you. If they like something, they tell you. If you ride the bike on the wrong side of the road, you are in big trouble. Not that the police cares too much, but random adults are gonna let you know in very friendly words that you are stupid. All people are just gonna threaten to sue you. They feel like you offended them. They wanna sue you. You sneeze too loud on a Sunday morning. They sue you. You drink warm beer. They sue you. It's something Germans quite like. Threaten to sue you for the dumbest stuff possible. But they're also very friendly and if you get to know them, they're actually amazing reliable people. Don't take things too personally or seriously sometimes and you'll be able to navigate yourself through Germany's student life pretty smoothly. Being on time is also something that is really German. Imagine you have plans to meet your German fellows at 6 to watch some soccer and they're gonna be there at 6, not at 7, at 6. But don't get me wrong, Munich is by no means perfect. One thing that is a big turndown is the availability of apartments here. Munich is literally the most expensive city in Germany and the cost of living is quite high. And this in combination with finding an apartment in Munich's hyper-competitive housing market might be a pain in the ass. Oftentimes even wealthier people who have the money for an apartment can get into one. Also taxes are very expensive in Germany which kinda sucks, you know. And the winter is freaking harsh here. Usually it's dark, wet and cold. In the period from November to March, literally everyone around you seems to have crippling winter depression. And the overall mood is just a solid 2 out of 10. But when the sun comes out, wow. Germans seem to completely change their personality from a grumpy gorilla to a constantly smiling shepherd dog. There is such a contrast between German people in the winter versus summer. You're gonna be surprised. So would I recommend you moving here, whether it's for your job, for university or for other reasons? And to say it in one sentence, yes, definitely, 100%. It's arguably one of the best university cities in Europe. University is also basically free in Germany. As someone who is half German and half Japanese and lived a substantial amount of time in Germany, I have this German side inside of me and from all the cities in Germany, Munich is one I resonated the most with. After having spent many years of my life living in Munich and now actually going to university here, the city still hooks me. There are some extremely beautiful places around the city as well. Can't wait to show them to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or on the community Discord server. See you in the next video and stay focused.